Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In today's session, we are going to see how to create a non-container database. While working with the Oracle 12C databases, you will find the two options to create a database. The first thing is you can create a non-container database and second option is you can create a container database with pluggable databases. In this session, we are going to focus on how to create a non-container database by using the DBCA. Let's see it in a practical way. I have already installed Oracle 12C binaries and I am going to use the same binaries for this installation and there are a couple of PDBs are there with me let me show you I am just connecting to the SQL plus utility let me check the container database name along with the status of container database by using the view v dollar database here you can see cdb is the container database because here the column is showing as yes with the name cdb right and currently it is up and running if i'm checking what are all the pdbs i have there are three pdbs with me the first one is seed which is the default one and then pdb and pdb1 now we are going to create another non pluggable database so this option should be no here as of now you can see here the cdb is a container database right so we are going to create a non container database by using the dbca utility make sure you have already set the oracle home and path how to set the path like this here you need to mention the oracle home path slash bin and for to set the oracle home here you can set like this and hereafter you can mention the path where it is pointing okay so we are going to call dbc utility as i already set the path and oracle home with me i don't need to mention the same thing again and again because if you are not setting the path then definitely you will get the error message saying that dbca is not recognized because it won't point to the path where dbc is available basically you will find the dbca in oracle home and then bin okay after calling to this dbc utility we are getting this graphical box the first option is create database configure database mm -hmm. delete database manage template what we are going to do we are going to create a non-container database with this 12c create database this is the best option with me okay now it is asking me what is the database name we will mention like ncdb n for non container database you can mention another name or anything which is suitable for you okay now it is asking where the data files or your uh, crd files will be stored for me it will be stored in a file system because i am not using the asm mm -hmm. then about the data files location fast recovery area this is default character set yeah this is a default which I, which we need to use administrative password and now this is the most important part why creating the non container database it is asking us whether you want to create a database as a container database no that's why i'm unchecking it there is some other option also if you don't want to go with the default option you need to select advanced mode let's go with the advanced mode this time next what is the purpose general purpose it which will include all data files okay we'll go with the general purpose only
now it is asking me for the database name non CDB and SID name will be the default like this create as a container database no we are not going to create a container database yeah configure enterprise EM ex database express okay let's go with what we are going to do we'll use the same password for CSN system You can also change the CSN system password once the database is created. Click on next. By default the listener name will be listener that is fine which will use the port for the listening purpose 1521 and current and the status will be up. Yeah this is what we need or if you want to create another listener you can also create by using this checkbox but what I'm going to do I will go with the same listener next here data file storage type I'm not going to use ASM I will just use the file system and on file system only my data files will be stored use data files file location from templates no use file common location for all data files yeah so all my data files will be stored inside the aura data directory are you going to use the oracle managed files when we are checking this the data files name will be allocated or will be given by the oracle itself we are not going to use this because we will provide the data files name our own but if you don't want this uh, activity to be taken care by you and you want this to be taken care by oracle itself then use this box specifies fast recovery area size okay enable archiving so whenever you're doing in transaction it will generate the archive again it will uh, be problem for me because i'm going to do a lot of operation here and there is a chances that database can go in hung state and I don't have backup option also here with me so it's up to you sample schema if I'm checking this uh, Oracle will create a sample schema like HR I don't want this to be created I'm not going to run any script after the database creation Alt also I'm not going to configure okay so this is the important things memory sizing character set how many processes by default it will be 300 but if you want to change the processes you can change it I will make it like 200 because I know there is no one is going to connect to this database use automatic memory management this is the option we have which has which is provided by the oracle itself so if we are checking this all the memory operation will be performed by oracle he will take care no need to like SCA and uh, shared pool these things will be taken care by the oracle this is a default character set dedicated okay we are going to save a database template as a ncdb generate a database creation script e app oracle ncdb let's copy this somewhere okay we can use this script after creation or maybe when next time we are going to create a new database next now it is doing some pre request site checks that is fine and at last you need to check what are all the options you have selected by default db block size will be 8 kb these are the data files which will create it 
last time we had checked aura data so there only it is going to create and these are the default table spaces which will create system sysox undo table space users and temp and last click on finish oh so this is the page which will take much time it will go around 15 to 20 minutes again it's depend on your processor speed so what i am going to do i'll pause this video for the time being and i will again resume it once the percentage will be around 98 or 99 percent for the time being you need to also check the activity log still it is yet to create anything this is just copying the file so it will take some time and one more thing which I forgot to tell here when you are opening the CMD I mean to say command prompt just right click and open it as an administrator let me show you here type CMD right click and run as administrator okay I already opened the CMD as administrator so no need to do anything see here you can see the activity log what it is going to do internally you can see it here itself it is multiple time it will start and restart the database you can see here alter database mount this many things we are going to happen you can also check the log file here itself just copy this and open it in a notepad file this activity log also you will find after some time you just to go here and edit bit more plus plus let me see here this is what currently happening if you want to check the latest update just right click and reload see you will see everything here itself I am pausing this video for the time being. I will come back. Yeah, so the installation is on 100% and this is the window I got after that. The generation of the script, uh, we have checked the option that we need to generate the script and it is available here. You can E app oracle admin i guess i have already taken it somewhere yes. let me check where i have kept okay let's see uh, we will just go there e app oracle then EAP Oracle admin and CDB. Okay. Admin and CDB. And that's script. Yeah, this is this. This is the script here. So you can see here uh, there are multiple scripts. A template is also created here. Okay. and if you want to check the log file when the database was creating that time i already show where you can see the dbca log file if you found any error you can track the error message from there itself okay 
then we need to check uh, if you want to set the password management for this system and for other user so these are the user which we are created automatically when we are doing the uh, 12c dbc installation uh, sys and system by default it will be unlocked and rest of the users will be locked only you can also change the sys system password from there itself but as of now for me this is not going to help and even i don't want it so i'm unchecking that things click on close okay and this is a server parameter file and we have also checked the em database express so this is the url we are getting here just check on close so let's see what it is showing whether database is up and running select name comma open underscore more cd2 Database. you can see here we had already given the oracle sid name as ncdb so we have created the ncdb non-container database successfully whether it is a container database or non-container database that we are come to know from this cdb previously it was yes for cdb database for ncdb which we have created now it is showing us no right let me check whether the services also has been created for this in services.msc right click run as administrator go here and click on o like press o see here you can see here the oracle service is also created by using the ncdb how to create this service manually uh, that I have already given the demonstration in my other another video you can see it uh, but when we are doing the installation by using the DBCA it will automatically create the services so no need to create a manual service for this so if I'm checking the listener status we had created the listener with the name listener itself it is showing ncdb database so this service is also listening so everything is looking fine so this is how we can create a non-container database by using the dbca if you have any queries you can write mail to me thank you so much see you with the next video